Hi, this is Mark from the Jeepster Man. Uh, as you can see, they get us mixed up. Which one's the dad? Which one's the son that says father on it? That's me, the dad. Mark, John is uh, helping out with the video. But I want to talk today about um, the Jeep Commando. So this is a 1972 Jeep Commando. No, it's not a Bronco. No, it's not an international and definitely not a Volkswagen thing. But I would say this is a direct competitor to the Broncos, which have risen in value here lately. Uh, but if you're really looking for something that looks like a Bronco, but isn't a Bronco, it's a Jeep. Good, deep brand and definitely a great vehicle. We're just going to talk about it. You can see this front end design. They call it a bullnose. Um, they call it that because they flattened it out in 1972, which gives it a little bit more of that Bronco look. And that's why you get a lot of mix up on it. Um, and this particular vehicle here is a V8. Uh, 304 AMC motor. This was the first year they put that AMC motor in there. Pretty good motor. Uh, has a lot of torque. This one is built up a little bit, so this is a high performance 304 that we did some work to. You can see the commando badge here. All these badges have been blacked out. This is kind of our midnight edition that we put on this vehicle. The paint is done in a 2020 cinnamon stick. Uh, this is a color that you would see on a Dodge Challenger, so some pretty cool looking paint. You can see the wheels and the tires here in this lift. Just a massive appearance to this vehicle because it has one of our lifts. It has 35 inch tires on it, but it's on a 15 inch rim. Also has front disc brakes, which is something that we do quite a bit to all of our vehicles to make them stop. We also do some uh, lining to these fields. You can see this top has been lined as well as the inside has been lined. So it really makes it durable where you can take it out, get sand, water in it, and wash it right out. Uh, really makes it durable. It also has one of our replacement dash pad covers on it. So really done well, nice Jeep. And let's walk our way around to the back here. And as you look at the back, you can see um, another just really unique feature to this is a slanted forward back. This is on all Jeepster Commando 67 through 71, and they continued that on the Jeep Commando and the 72 and 73. So that slanted back is kind of a, a signature of a commando type vehicle. They're all going to be slanted. CJ is going to be straight up and down. Uh, we come around a little bit further and you can see on the inside here on the driver's side that we have some really nice seats here. We also have a roll bar. This top comes off pretty easy to remove. They're somewhat light. They're metal. They're not fiberglass, but they do come off and they give you the opportunity to ride with the top down, which is a really different vehicle. With the top off, you can see that in some of our pictures that we have posted on our website, thejeepsterman.com, along with our YouTube and Facebook pages. So over here, we're gonna take a look under this hood. Uh, it's been done correctly and really spent some time on detailing it, making it look good. So 72, 73, both have this similar front end it's stretched out a little bit to allow for this v8 and they also put a straight six cylinder a 232 r258 but the real high prize was this 304 v8 this one has power steering it is also upgraded with power brakes and as i mentioned before it has front disc brakes on it so if you're interested in this vehicle this one is actually getting ready for the auction, uh, that's the Mecham auction in uh, Chattanooga, Tennessee, which is going to run October, I think it's 15th, 16th, 17th. So you can look for this vehicle to cross the stage there. If you want any more information on it, um, you can check us out at thejeepsterman.com. Thank you.